about you, but I am definitely guilty of almost pigeonholing myself into just buying from brands that are popular, that are widely known, and that are familiar to me. If I'm wanting to buy a new sweater for fall, the easy route is to just buy it from a brand that I've already been shopping with for years. But see, the problem with that is that I miss out on so many amazing smaller brands. Brands who have super cute and unique clothes, have size inclusive ranges, are ethically produced, and have a powerful mission and message behind them. So I spent a lot of time trying to find clothing brands that check at least a few of those boxes for me, and I think deserve way more hype than they're getting. In the end, I found six brands and I placed an order with each of them. I'll tell you what each brand is about, like their message, their mission, I'll try on the clothes, give you my honest thoughts, of course. And hopefully we can bring these brands more of the hype that they deserve. Also, I just wanna note, for most of these brands, this is my first time placing an order with them, so I can't really speak to the long-term durability of their items. But I just think these brands seem super cool, so if you've been wanting to buy some new clothes but also feel like you're kind of stuck in that same brand rut, then this is the video for you. I'm glad you're here. Make sure to subscribe if you're new or if you've been here for a long time but just have never hit the subscribe button. Now's a great time to do it. I very much appreciate it. And I won't ramble anymore. Well, I will ramble more, but like ramble about the clothes, not in the intro. So here we go. <laughs> I am so excited about this first brand. It's Peachy Keen Swim. No joke, they are like everything that I want in a clothing brand. On their website, they describe themselves as a body positive swimwear line with the desire to reshape the fashion industry and help improve the world along the way. So they carry sizes extra small to 5X. They are a sustainable, slow fashion company. The products are all produced sweatshop free and they ship in compostable mailers. Also, they're planning to use recycled fabrics for their next collection. And they really wanna focus on being inclusive of all bodies and have made the commitment to never retouch their models. And they were founded by three women. Here they are looking adorable. So funnily enough, most of these brands I found on Instagram, but this one I actually found on TikTok. We'll see if TikTok is still around by the time this video goes up, but I found them on TikTok and I thought their products and their message just seemed so awesome. So I took a peek at their self-love size chart to see what size was the best for me. And I ordered the signature top and signature bottom in black. I got them in the size glowing and boss, which is the equivalent of a 1X. The top was $80 and the bottoms were $70. So it is definitely pricey for a swimsuit, but it's really important to keep in mind where that price is coming from. And for a company like Peachy Keen that is producing their products ethically and sustainably, that price point makes total sense. So I'm excited, let's go try it on. All right, so I have done many a bikini video this summer. I have tried on on probably like, I don't know, 30 swimsuits on my channel this summer. And I don't know if this is just like immediate bias of, of me trying it on right now and being super stoked, but my first inclination is to say, this is the nicest, the highest quality, the best fitting swimsuit that I have tried. And like I said, maybe it's just the recency bias because I'm putting it on right now, but this swimsuit, first of all, the actual material is so silky smooth. It has a little bit of stretch to it, so it fits just like perfectly on my shoulders, my chest, the bottoms fit really, really nicely, but they're not digging in anywhere. It's super, super comfy. It also feels very well constructed. Like I think this would be a swimsuit that would stay in my closet for years and years and years to come. The one thing I will say is I wish that the top was a little bit more supportive, but I do think that maybe I could have gone with one size down on the top because here I have a little bit of gaping, but it still fits pretty well. I think that's because of the, the stretch. The back is also like corset lace up here. So it's really, really adjustable, which is super nice. I feel like the bottoms are almost a bigger winner than the top. They're just kind of like a really nice, like mid to high rise fit. They're a teeny bit cheeky in the back and I don't usually 
actually like cheeky bottoms, but I feel like these just show like like the the amount of butt that I am comfortable with. And I can tell that they really put like thought and care into designing the swimsuit. So I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give the top a nine out of 10 and I'm gonna give the bottoms a 10 out of 10. I really like this swimsuit and I'm really excited to see like what Peachy Keen does with their future collections because it seems like to me they have a really good foundation for their brand and their company and their products. So I'm excited by them. Peachy Keen Swim, really good swimsuit. Our next brand is called Bohm. They are a clothing company that was started by two sisters from Brazil. On their website, they share a lot about their story of immigrating to America and launching this company together in their 20s. They also talk a lot about their production process and how they're really selective with their materials and their manufacturers and that their private label clothes are produced in factories that provide a living wage and humane working conditions. And each piece is tried on by one of their team members to make sure that it fits well on real bodies, not mannequins. They carry sizes extra small to extra large, so it is only standard sizes. Their clothes are really cute, so I really hope that as their business grows, they also grow and expand their sizing so that plus size women can enjoy them too. So I ordered three items, the Vera Moda striped jumpsuit in an extra large for $46.50, the Kayla denim dress in an extra large for $49.50, and the the semicircle geometric graphic tee in an extra large for $29.50. So let's go give these bomb pieces a try and see if the bomb is bomb. That was such a bad joke. But let's see if the clothes are cute. Let's try them on. There you go. First item from Bohm is the geometric tee, which I actually didn't catch this on the website, but it includes a removable necklace that matches, which I feel like is kind of a cool touch because I never really know how to style casual jewelry. So I tend to just not. I, I never really wear necklaces and bracelets, just my wedding ring and my Apple watch. <laughs> but this is a really cool little casual necklace that I think I'll definitely wear when I wear the shirt and also wear with other casual t-shirts. The shirt fits really well. The material feels pretty nice, but not like crazy out of this world. I think the design is really cute. It definitely fits true to size as well. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it into these jeans because that's probably how I would actually style it in real life outside of the video. So hold on, ta-da, we're tucked in. <laughs> and this shirt is from their private label. So it was ethically produced and it was under $30. So I feel like for like a cute, trendy, pretty high quality, ethically produced top, that's about as good as it gets price wise. And you get the necklace with it. I feel like that's really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this shirt a nine out of 10. Only way it could be a 10 out of 10 is if the material was a little bit higher quality. But I mean, it's, it's very nice. I feel like I had some concerns about this dress when I saw it on the website and how it was actually gonna fit on my body. You know, things like the fitted arms and the fitted waist and the, the buttons, those can sometimes make finding the right fit for me difficult. But I feel like there was definitely thought put into those aspects of the clothing to make sure that it would fit a variety of bodies. Because first of all, the arms look pretty fitted, but they have a little slit in the front and the back that makes them actually feel less restrictive. And and the waist right here gives like perfect waist definition. It's fitted, but they made the back of it elastic here. So it looks nice and just perfectly fitted in the front, but it would probably also look perfectly fitted on someone who has a waist that's a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller than mine. I feel like that's really cool. And I really appreciate when there are like thought out details in the construction of a piece. It's also just really freaking cute. Like it's, it's almost like cottage core. Does anyone else frequently get sucked into cottage core TikTok? Because me. <laughs> one negative about this piece is there are a few loose threads that I've noticed throughout. There's one here in the middle. There's one on the sleeve. There was one I saw on the bottom. You know, that can be something that's just like an easy quick snip and then it never comes up again. Or sometimes I've noticed, at least in my experience, it can hint at less than an ideal construction of a piece. But with all of that in mind, I think this is a really great dress. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight and a half out of 10. And I feel like I'll get a ton of wear out of this. Also, it's long enough that I could wear bike shorts underneath. So no chub rub, very cute, very simple. And 
I like it a lot. Da 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 da. It fits. It was a perfect fit. I feel like one of the stepsisters in Cinderella who puts on the shoe and it like doesn't fit at all, but she's like, look, it fits. I'm your princess. So this dress is not from Bones private label. It is from the brand, what was it, Jess? Vera Moda. I forgot to mention, but the denim dress was from Bohm's private label. So it could be that the sizing varies from label to label, or it could just be that this jumpsuit wasn't made for my proportions because jumpsuits are usually pretty difficult for me to size. But yeah, it's a little bit tight in the thighs, definitely too tight here, tight in the butt, tight everywhere. So I like the idea of this jumpsuit. It's cute, it feels high quality, no loose strings or anything. So this one will be for sale on my Poshmark. And all the proceeds from my Poshmark are donated to charity every quarter. For the second and third quarter of 2020, we are donating to the Ochre Project, which is a collective that helps black trans people facing food insecurity. So a very, very important cause. So if anyone does want to buy this, link in the description to my Poshmark. Also, it has pockets. So that's fantastic. <laughs> so Universal Standard is a brand that I just recently found and am totally in love with. <laughs> I ordered a body contrast from them for my styling clothes I feel insecure in video. And not only did I love the item itself, like it was super comfy and high quality, but I love the inclusivity of this brand. Like every big fashion retailer should take notes because Universal Standard seems to be doing inclusivity really well. So it's owned by two women, Polina and Alex, and every item comes in a double zero up to a size 40. Amazing! And oh, I love I love this so much. They have this line that's called Fit Liberty, where if you buy an item and within the next year your size changes, they will replace that item with your new size for free. So you can buy the size that you are today and not have to worry about fit later. They're really focused on their quality and the fabric sourcing to ensure long-term wear and durability. So like I said, I've already tried and loved one piece from them. So for this video, I wanted to try their denim because that seems to be one of the things they're like really known for. So I got these high-rise skinny jeans in a size 14 for $90 and this short sleeve bodysuit in a size 14, 16 for $62. So let's go to the paper roll and try these on. Okay, immediately upon putting on both the bodysuit and the jeans, I was like, I think Universal Standard might become my new favorite brand. <laughs> like, obviously, I love the messaging. I love the inclusivity. They use amazingly diverse, beautiful models. And then the actual clothes are fan freaking tastic These pieces, first of all, the material and the quality is like top tier. Like I can't imagine a material feeling better than this bodysuit does. It is so soft. It's ribbed, so it's fitted. It's somehow like incredibly lightweight, but still feels sturdy. The clasp on like the crotch of the bodysuit has multiple levels, like multiple different lines of closures. So you could adjust it to make it fit tighter or looser. I feel like it lays very nicely. It looks very nice. I have no doubt that this will probably be one of those basics that I wear at least once a week. These jeans are very, very stretchy, but still have a little bit of structure to them, which is nice. I find sometimes with jeggings that when the material is so thin and so stretchy, you don't really get the, the structure that you get with normal denim. And I feel like these jeans are that perfect middle ground of stretchy and comfy while still being structured and looking like normal denim. I will say both the bodysuit and the jeans, I think run maybe half a size big, maybe a full size big. I am getting a little bit of gapping in the waist right here. So I think if I wear these, I would definitely want to wear a belt so that I'm not doing, you know, this thing all day. <laughs> but the bodysuit being a little bit loose, I really don't mind because it's ribbed. It doesn't really show. Like if I was going to order another pair of jeans from Universal Standard, I would probably go with a 12. And right now I usually wear a 14 to 16. I'm rarely a 12. 12 right now, so that is a little bit surprising to me. Also, they were very long. I'm 5'4 for reference, so it's pretty common for me that jeans will be a little bit long. I just cuffed them. They look super cute still. Definitely keeping both of these pieces. I love them. And, oh wait, these jeans are part of the Fit Liberty collection. So, if I want to keep them right now, wear them in the 14 and they end up stretching out a little bit or I end up just deciding that they are a little bit too loose for comfortable wear, I can get them replaced 
in a smaller size or a bigger size if my body changes and it doesn't cost me anything. That is amazing. <laughs> also, Jess was just looking back at like my order confirmation and these jeans come in two different lengths. I got them in the 32 inch, but they also come in a 27 inch. So I, I could even exchange these for a smaller length. Amazing. Universal standard is setting the freaking bar high. I am a big fan. 10 out of 10 for the top, nine out of 10 for the jeans, just chef's kiss. I love it. Our next brand is called buy to v and they seem like just such a cool company. On their website, they describe themselves as fair trade fashion that connects capable women in Cambodia and around the US. We believe in quality over quantity and handmade over mass produced. From our hands to yours, buy to v is produced with care. I love how transparent they are about their whole production process. On their website, buy to v includes a ton of photos and information about their workshop, the employees, how they get their fabrics, including details like that they provide lunch in the workshop, they offer maternity leave, and how each seamstress signs her name on the finished product. They offer sizes small to XL, and I really hope they're able to expand the sizing they offer as they grow. So I ordered two items, the pure linen tank in an XL for $48, and the blueberry pocket swing dress in an XL for $56. But before I try the items on, I want to look at the tag and see um, where the seamstress signed it and who made my clothing. So they include a tag about like the different principles of their company, kind of all the stuff that we already talked about. And it says, this piece was produced by Sophie. So thank you, Sophie, for sewing this beautiful dress. And my linen tank, let's see, was made by Chandu. Thank you, Chandu. Thank you, Sophie. And let's go try on these pieces from By to V. I am really impressed by this blueberry swing dress from by to v I feel like I had decently high expectations after learning so much about their production process. But also I was like, it's just a swing dress. Like how good can it be? But this is about as good as a swing dress could be. I can't imagine any way this could be improved upon. The material feels so nice and soft. The construction feels incredibly well done and high quality. It feels like it was built to last. And that's exactly what I want out of like a wardrobe staple like this, because this is something that I could style in so many different ways. I could wear a flannel tied around the waist. I could do a denim jacket. I could do a duster. I could do a cardigan. I could belt it. Like there's so many possibilities. And so I feel like this is one of those pieces that could really like grow up with me as my style changes and as my clothing preferences change. You know, there's always gonna be a new fun way to style this. And also it has, wait for it, pockets, a swing dress with pockets. Game changing, innovative, mind blowing, all of the above. And I know it's just a swing dress, so I'm hesitant to give it a 10 out of 10. But as far as swing dresses go, I think this is about as good as it gets. And all things considered for, you know, the quality of the piece and the ethicality of the production, $56 for a dress like this is a really great price. So I'm really happy with this dress. Definitely going to be keeping it. Highly recommend it. And really excited to try the second item from buy to v because this set the bar pretty high. Did I rate this yet? I was going to give it a nine and a half out of 10. Nine and a half out of 10. Really, really happy with this. So here is the linen tank. I would definitely style this tucked in, but again, wanted to show you what it looks like untucked. So here it is tucked in the way I would style this if I was wearing it outside of a video. And I definitely like it a lot better tucked in, but I do have some issues with this tank top and the fit of it. I will say the material and the construction of this top feels very, very high quality, like top tier, very on par with the dress for the quality, but the fit just isn't perfect for my proportions. I have like some gaping and gathering here around the neckline and on the sleeves and a little bit here in the armpit too. I think the style of this tank top is really cute. I love the color and the pattern with like the white and blue stripes. The material and the construction feels really nice. It's just not perfect for my proportions. So this is one that I'm going to go ahead and sell on my Poshmark. Really, really cute. Just not perfect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a, I was going to say six out of 10, but I feel like that's a little bit low for how high the quality is. 
So I'll give it a seven out of 10. I think I think seven out of 10 is, is right for this, for me and the way it fits on me. Our next brand is Worthy Figures, a plus size boutique aiming to make trendy, affordable clothing accessible to plus size women. So they carry sizes 12 to 24 and their owner, Amy, shared a lot about her story of why she started Worthy Figures on the website. She shares about her confidence journey, her shopping frustrations as a plus size woman, and how she wants to make sure that your shopping experience is not limited by your clothing size. So I got two items, the Madison dress in navy in a 1X for $52, and the Haven top also in a 1X for $34. So let's go try these two on. Okay, so here is what the tank top looks like with no style. Styling. I would definitely style this tucked in. One second, I'm gonna tuck it in. All right, so I went ahead and tucked it in and then I noticed that these straps were actually adjustable, which is great. So I adjusted this one and then I went to adjust this one and it fell off. So the little clasp here actually just detached from the back of the strap on this tank top. So that could always be just a fluke with my one item, but from my experience, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this tank top probably isn't very high quality. The material feels a little bit cheap and itchy and obviously the strap. But I think the style of this top and the idea of it is pretty cute. But all things considered, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three out of 10. All right, so I will say this dress definitely makes up for a good amount of my disappointment with my first item from Worthy Figures. This dress, feels super high quality. It looks very cute. The material is comfy and breathable. It fits true to size. It's lightweight and flowy, but I feel like I could belt it too and it would look super cute. So lots of like variety in the way I could wear it. I think the length is perfect for me and it even has pockets right here little pockets. <laughs> if any of you guys saw my Target review, I got a dress very similar to this from their brand Knox Rose, except it was in red. It had the same like polka dot pom pom detailing around it. And I think it looks really, really cute. This dress I am definitely gonna keep. I really, really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10. The only thing that I think could improve this dress is a little bit of waist definition. But other than that, it's a really, really great dress. I really like it. And I'm glad this one worked out because I was getting a little worried that maybe just worthy figures and their clothes in general aren't super high quality, but because I like this dress so much, I feel like it's 50-50. It's I'd have to try a couple more pieces to really get like a full feel for the quality of the brand. Okay, so our next brand, Lucy and Yak, is one that I had actually heard about before filming this video, but never ordered from. And I know there's an argument to be made that Lucy and Yak isn't that underhyped. They do have the most Instagram followers of the brands in this video. But after looking through their products and their website and their values, I feel like they deserve way more hype than they're getting right now. This is a freaking cool company. So Lucy and Yak is a UK based clothing label aiming to produce unique and high quality clothing. Their pieces are super fun and colorful and vibrant. Everyone at Lucy and Yak is paid above the living wage and their clothing is made ethically in India. They're also very transparent about their manufacturing process and they include photos and descriptions of their factory. And I also really appreciate that they're very open about the fact that their business isn't perfect, but they're working every day to try and improve their social and environmental impact. Also, it's all shipped in 100% biodegradable mailers. They carry up to a size 22 in the UK, which is equivalent to an 18 in the US, and they have plans to expand that sizing. The only bummer about Lucy and Yak is that their trousers, which is what caught my eye the most, sell out pretty quick, especially in the larger sizes and especially, especially in the fun colors and prints. I was able to find two pairs that were available in a size that seemed somewhat close to mine on the size chart. Not sure if they're gonna fit perfectly. The first pair I'm worried might be a little bit too small. And that is the Alexa lightweight cotton trousers in black in an extra large. And these were $36. And then I also got the Addison high-waisted organic cotton twill jeans in pink. These ones I'm worried about being a tiny bit big. They were in a 38 waist, 32 length for $71. So hopefully one of those two pairs will work unless I happen to be in the middle and one's too big and one's too small. Or maybe it'll work out that I'm in the middle and so they both work. I hope that's how it works out. That's not usually how it works out for me as a mid-sized person, but fingers crossed because they're really cute. Oh, and I totally forgot I got a third piece. 
And that is the Nola Boxy Cut Cropped Tee in black in an XXL for $23. I really want these pieces to work. And even if they don't, I, I feel like I'll be able to tell, you know, the quality, the material, and then also gauge my sizing for ordering in the future and making sure I'm right on top of their new releases so I can get all the fun colors and prints. They fit! They fit, they fit perfect and I'm so happy. Okay, these are the lightweight trousers. They have a very elastic waist and so perfect fit there. I was a little bit worried if the thighs were gonna be too tight because I really love like a loose fitting baggy thigh. And that's exactly what I got here. I'm super, super happy and they have pockets. <laughs> So here's a little look all the way around. Also, it said on their website that their pants are designed to be cuffed to your comfort level. So I went ahead and did that and I feel like these look so cute. Also because they're they're not jeans, they're like a very lightweight soft pant. These would be kind of like the perfect travel pant. <laughs> travel. If that ever happens again, I guess the more applicable thing to say would be these are a perfect pant for sitting on your couch and hanging out all day at home because they're very comfy. I know these pants come in some other really fun colors and the black is definitely like the most versatile for me and my life. Also, in case you didn't notice, I did pair it with the universal standard bodysuit because I love it so much. And I feel like this is such a cute, simple look. Also, it has belt loops here, so I could wear a belt with it, which would be a fun touch. But I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eyes peeled on the Lucy and Yak website to see if I can get these pants, again, now that I know they fit so well, in another color because they carry so many fun colors. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give these pants, do I give them a 10 out of 10? Oh my gosh, this would be a 10 out of 10 out the, the the top the pants 10 out of 10 it's 10 out of 10 i love them i'm so happy these fit too what is the sorcery oh I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm speechless. I'm so happy. Well, I guess I'm not speechless because I keep talking. But when would I ever be speechless? I don't think that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> okay, so these pants are awesome. I really, really like them. These are definitely the most high-waisted pants I've ever tried on. So for reference, belly button about here. Bottom of my bra here. <laughs> ultra, ultra high waist of my pants here. <laughs> There is a teeny bit of extra room in the waist that I could see causing a little bit of waist gapping here, especially if they stretch out after some wear. But as of right now, I would call this like the perfect fit. Again, I rolled these jeans to be like a mid calf length. The light pastel pink is so freaking cute. They feel incredibly high quality. These are like a true denim, unlike the soft pants. And I just, I love these. I, I uh, pockets, did, did I say pockets? 10 out of 10 for these as well. Lucy and Yak is absolutely killing it. All right, here's the last Lucy and Yak piece, this really simple black boxy crop top. I feel like this is kind of the perfect crop where with like a normal pair of high-waisted bottoms that hit like here, I would be showing just like a little bit of skin in between, which is my kind of preference with crop tops. The material feels incredibly high quality, which I think is consistent across the three pieces I've tried from Lucy and Yak. It feels well-constructed, the fabric is super soft, and just it feels nice. I think the fit is true to size for a double XL and I really like it. It's a great basic. I'll go ahead and give this top a nine out of 10. Doesn't feel right to give it a 10 out of 10 because there's nothing that's like stand out perfect about it, but I also can't really think of any ways this could get better. <laughs> Our next brand is Ethica, and I'm actually just gonna read directly from their website because they, they start with this little blurb that I think just perfectly describes who they are. Ethica is an online retailer where you can learn about ethical fashion, discover emerging designers, and shop a high style selection of ethical and sustainable labels. After reading more about Ethica on their website, I realized what a cool company this is. They're based out of Texas, and they offer eco-friendly packaging and carbon neutral shipping. They're focused on carrying brands that share their commitment to social and environmental responsibility. You can also sort products by different ethical qualities like sustainability, made in the USA, vegan, trade not aid, and handcrafted. And like Ethica mentioned in that little blurb at the beginning, they're really committed to education as well. So they explain what each of those terms means. They share stories and articles to educate their customers about ethical fashion. And I feel like 
like I learned so much just from researching for this video. One thing I will say that made ordering kind of difficult was that their size range is usually extra small to extra large, but some of the pieces they carry only go up to a large. But I did find two items in my style and my size that I wanted to order and feature in this video. And those were the organic wrap crop top in an extra large for $68 and the organic brahmi in an extra large for $58. And back to the purple paper roll. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I really like this top. I think it was designed to be worn braless. It kind of seems like that, but I am someone who really likes to feel held and supported in my chest. So I went ahead and wore a strapless bra underneath and it actually lays very nicely. I feel like this top is one of those like trendy tight fitting tank top crop tops that I always see all over Pinterest and Instagram, but still struggle to imagine them as something that I would wear. This was actually one of the fears that I tried to conquer in my styling clothes I feel insecure in for a week video. And I feel like I actually made kind of a big breakthrough in that video with this kind of top. And so I feel like I, I wanna keep this and I wanna wear it. I would say it fits true to size for an XL. It feels very, very nice and high quality. And I feel like this would be not only like a great layering piece for regular daily wear outfits, but also like a really comfy around the house loungewear top. I would definitely recommend this if you've been looking for this style of top. Unfortunately, it does only go up to an extra large, but I'll go ahead and give this top, uh, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because I wish these straps were thicker and more supportive because then I maybe would consider going braless, but with these teeny straps and this chest, not gonna happen. Okay, so first thing right off the bat that I noticed with this cotton wrap top is this is like top tier material, top tier quality, top tier construction. I can't imagine a shirt feeling nicer than this one feels. It feels very, very nice. Also, it is a wrap top, but it is pre-wrapped. So it's like sewn into place, except for the little ties here, which I personally prefer because it gives less margin for slippage and error and my boobs flying all over the place when the wind blows. But I also like that they left the little ties loose because there are a ton of different ways you could tie it. They start in the front here, so I could wrap it here and tie it long, like so. I could tie it in the back here, like so. Or I could tie it how I originally did, which is wrapping it around the back and then tying it in the front so that the little bow is shorter. I think this is a really awesome basic to have. Super cute, super simple, super comfortable, and something I can see myself wearing a lot. Oh man, do I give this top a 10 out of 10. I really struggle with rating the basics because sometimes I feel like 10 out of 10 should be reserved for like those just amazing hero piece like like once in a lifetime items, but other times I'm like, well, if there's no way this could be improved for a basic cotton wrap top, this is a 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. There it is, no improvements could be made. So I wanna know, what are your favorite underhyped brands? Please leave them in the comments below. I'll be reading through because I would love to do a part two and I'm sure there are so many other amazing brands that I'm missing out on. And if you end up ordering from any of the companies I talked about here, I'll go ahead and link all of them in the description. Send me a DM on Instagram or tag me in a tweet on Twitter about it because I love hearing from you guys. But anyways, thank you for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you on Tuesday actually with a bonus video. It's the self timer photo shoot challenge. I'm actually really excited about it. I'm filming it tomorrow and I have some, some ideas in my head about like cool photos I wanna try and take with just me and my phone and my self timer. Ooh, and if you're still here, if you stuck around to the end of the video and now you know what my next video is, comment something letting me know that you know what the video is. And I'll heart and respond to as many of those comments as I can. Anyways, I love you guys. This is a long outro, but I hope you have a good week. Bye. <laughs>